island of Tiktoban, palm fringed, peaceful, a carefree people, quaint nomads of the sea and shore, playing, working under kind tropic skies, untouched by the sweep of civilization save for a lone mission school. No clang and clatter of grinding city traffic, only graceful palm shaded streets, gentle winds, and leisurely shoppers exchanging friendly greetings as a new day brings its simple tasks. No feverish haste on this happy island. The pavement is never red hot under their feet. Age finds the solace of genial companionship as memories are revived and exchanged. But it is not a land of all idleness and women and children have their chores to do. like he is filling a pipe. Not exactly. It is a mild narcotic of another sort, the beetle nut, which he chews with relish. You comb my hair and I'll comb yours. Much less expensive than permanent waves. Throughout the ages, man has felt a reliance upon a higher power. So from the Quran, the children are taught the lessons of the prophet. Allah is good. Allah is just. Thus, life moves on. Their motto is not manana, but nevertheless, time to them is eternal. Why worry or fret? These look like skulls for a second, but you are wrong. Just a crop of coconuts on an isle where nature provides abundantly for her children and where there is plenty for all. The art of boat making and sailing comes naturally to an island people. Fleet vintas and sabots Lumbering limpas and praws are ever ready for cargo or transit. For at times, these nomadic moros desert their villages and for months on end sail the tropic waters, truly gypsies of the sea. The boys don't seem to need special chaperones, but they have a gallery just the same. a radio tower. But what would these simple folks know of radio? It is a giant fishnet, which to them is far more useful, dependent as they are upon the sea for so much of their food supply. Boys learn early the rudiments of navigation. Someday they too will handle the big vitters and push their prows into the blue-white breakers towards sinking their nets and returning treasure laden to the throng crowded beach. Goodly Island is Dick Tobin. Through arching foliage, sunlight flashes from cascading waterfalls that leap and swirl, throwing their spray in misty showers over happy, reveling moral maidens. Nature in this tranquil island gives no greater boon than this. It is playtime in Dick Tobin, as indeed it is all year round. No frost to blight, no snow to freeze. Just long sun-filled hours without the call of clocks and factory whistles. Time to splash and dive in the cool waters and shower baths by the hour with no water bills to pay. Even the monkeys join in the spirit of Gale. Is it leapfrog? Anyway, she's not going to leave her baby out of it. Where mama goes, baby goes too. Uh-oh, that was a ducking. Well, the sun will dry her off. Here's another kind of play. Yes, it's play. These people are not headhunters. But I would rather play with something else than one of those native swords. Yet so it has been in every form of communal life. On the village green, fiesta time at county fairs. In the arena, town park or at the marketplace. The piper has piped, the dancers danced and merry men made merry. Quack, quack, step, sidestep, advance, retreat as on the sidelines the orchestra beats the rhythm of the play.
play all the time, and although pearl diving might look like play, it is really hard, skillful work. The natives stay underwater from three to four minutes, crawling along the bottom, filling baskets with shells, and then returning to the surface. It's not fun weaving your way through coral gardens, never knowing when you may meet some gliding monster like this, a manatee, duyong, or sea owl, resembling some prehistoric dinosaur resurrected from antiquity. Malignant, evil, an apparition from the unknown. But the divers are more agile than their clumsy visitor, easily elude his gigantic bulk and make their way to the surface where the boatmen sit with poised spears to challenge the ugly monster should he too come to the surface.
again to search for the opaque little stone that someday at fabulous prices will adorn fair ladies of the western world. Take me there to Zamboanga in the island far away where the rustling of the palm trees and the Moro maidens say come you here to Zamboanga and the shores of Zambo Bay. Here is life, also adventure. There are pearl beds neath the sea. And at times, the moral raiders may on the warpath be. But it's not mundane existence, and it's strongly calling me. Take me there to Zamboanga. It is there I want to be when the shadows of the sunset on the winters seem to me to be saying, off for Zambo and the plotted Sulu Sea. 